How are you guys? So this is what I did. I made another one. I made two of them. But the other one that I did, that you seen on the other video, I kind of messed it up. I didn't let the the paint, what's it called, sit in that, that good. And I put the mailer, mailer or something, mailer tube. And when I was doing that, I messed it up. So I had to do another one. This time, I'm going to let these dry. I had it dry for two days already. And I already put the, I just barely put the pink paint, but I know I did the too high. <laughs> I put the, right here, you're supposed to put it like a little bit on the bottom. But I'm going to try like that. And then after that, when these are dry for two days, then I'm going to put the, the glow in the dark and leave that one for two days. And let it sit in, dry good. And then after that, I'm going to put the mailer on. But what I noticed that I when you put the epoxy, it turns the, the the squid jigs yellow. So I guess I can't put that one. So I'm gonna put clear coat and try that out. And let it sit in. I'm gonna put like two I'm gonna dip it two times with the coat. And then after that, see how it comes out. And then I'm gonna put the hooks and the uh the steel bar that goes inside and then tie it up and do all that stuff but you see how it comes out but this one I'm doing it I'm trying to I'm a newbie barely learning once you learn you start getting you get the hang of it but yeah and then some I'm gonna do without the mailer tube and then just put the coat and all that and see how that one comes out but let's see so I'll get back at you when I do the video on this one. Let this one set in. Alright, so now I put in the glow. Sick glow. Let's see how it goes. If it glows nice. Yep. Ah, there's something on there. Oh, you know what? It didn't pick up the whole glow just right there where that little dot is at dang it but it's okay it's coming out all right let it dry really good then after that I put the epoxy and then put clear coat and let it dry for a long time and all see right, how it comes out so it's already been two days. This is the result. But I messed up because I put extra glow right here. The body right here is perfect. But the bottom, I don't like it because it's like a big old bump. <laughs> but it actually glows. And this part right here, I put too much glow. I dipped it in. And I took it out and I had this big old ball, so that's the number no no a rookie mistake. But I already put the seal coat, I mean clear coat on this, so I let it dry. Now what I gotta do is pull that stuff out right here. Oh yeah, you gotta tie these. When you're putting the mailer, the mail on or mailer, you gotta tie it, but I didn't have no tie so I use a wire, but you could use uh, floss. Yeah, there you go, floss. And it's put the clear coat on it. But now, I'm just gonna cut it. See this part? It got messed up a little bit. I seen it on Facebook that this guy had. Let he show people how to do it. But now we're gonna start putting in the hooks and the wire and all that. So what you need is these steel wire things. 
Let's like put it in here. And then, oh yeah, you need to glow in the dark bead. I need two of them for one on top and one on bottom. You can make your own design. I'm just making up this right now. To show you. So you need a bead. Ah. And then, oh no 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 no! <laughs> I'm doing it too fast. Forgetting this. I'm forgetting to put the hook. How are you gonna supposed to catch a squid on the hook? So you use this. I don't know if you can see it, but the light. But there you go. You put the yeah, you put the bead first. You can make your own, you know, just get creative. So like that. But you can cut this off because this is a half ounce. After that, you push it in. Push the hook in. See, there you go. You gotta push it in, still in there. Click the tell. Alright, there you go. And then you put the bead on top. So this is how it's gonna look. But now, the hardest part is to me, I have to make one of these. You see these right here? I gotta make it here. That's gonna be the hardest for me because I'm still learning how to do the tie thing. So, let's see if we can do this. I need the wire cutter. Pliers. Okay. So you need wire cutters. I don't know what they call these, but I use these and the pliers. And we got to make one of these, these things right here. So now, how are we gonna do this? I wonder if I can use it. I'm gonna use this one. Yeah, I'm gonna turn it. We have to turn this around like that. So let's see. Alright, just make sure. You gotta make sure this thing's not loose. See that? You gotta make it tight. Tight as you can. And then the wire's gonna we're gonna bend the wire, wrap it around like this. Let's see if I can do this. First time making these jigs. Ah, oh, it's letting go. I need some other pliers. Oh, see? Got myself. <laughs> Damn pliers. I need some different pliers. First time, so uh, it's some nutty cracker thing. <laughs> I'll fix it later. So you know you have to break this. Oh, you know what? 
It's still not even tight enough. I'll fix it later. I'll just show you how you guys do it. Damn wire cutters. Why aren't you cutting? Damn, bro. So now that's the only thing I gotta learn is to I just gotta learn how to do these like that perfect these are all messed up but all right there you so go change my mind on that that other one that I just put glass but this one I put oh where'd it go oh I put this one I think this is more better than the other one that I use this one better it's gonna make it more shiny and stuff but now oh I forgot something I forgot to take out this right here but at the end take out the wire then use the floss tie it around here and then after that we're gonna put the clear coat so that's what I'm gonna do right now I think it looks better when you put the mailer on mailer mailer or something I don't know how you say it but yeah get it as as you can there we go. Oh, you know what? I did something wrong. Then you have to push it in there. See that? Push it in there and then tie it. See how it comes out because the squid is gonna look at it, the shiny part. So, you gotta do that. You got the extra one, forgot how to, not supposed to have that thing on it. You know what? I'm not gonna cut it off. There we go. have to hang it so now I have this like that everything is good put these away I forgot that I was supposed to leave it time so I could put the clear coat. what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the clear coat right now I think I need to use a I need to use a bigger 
brush but and then I'm gonna go to the store right now and go get another clear coat I'm just trying it out with the nail polish clear coat and see how it works and then after that start doing jigs it's actually pretty good at making your own jigs you don't have to buy them because they, they sell them for like five dollars each but you know every time you cast it out there you get snagged and there goes five dollars but when you make your own you already know how to make them and then if you get snagged, you get more, you know, you make more instead of losing money. Well, you're still losing money because you're making, you're making some, but, hey, something new. And then I'm going to make another video of me painting some squid, uh, not squid jigs, jigs, crappie jigs and all that. Because I need to get ready for the, for the spring. And then I need to get ready for the the pinks. The pink salmon to come in this year. It's gonna get good. I'm trying to coat put a coat on it pretty good. There we go. Uh, stop. I need to put some on top. Alright, there we go. You see how it looks at the, at the dark. And after that, when I'm finished, I just let it sit. Let it sit for like, uh, probably for like a day, just to make sure it's dry, fully dry. Then I'll start putting in the the hooks, the wire, and the beads and all that. But remember, you could do whatever you want, any color, any stuff like that. Beads, you could use different beads. Uh, different color there's at Amazon they have like different hooks but this store only had the same hooks but let's see how it looks and that thing when this is dry then I'll put another coat but it depends on if you do it perfect all right let's see how it looks there we go see how it looks the difference when you put the mailer, mail on a mailer. So I'm gonna let this one dry. So there you go, you guys.